Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on Windows 10 and Windows 11, if an update is causing issues, what you can normally do is head into your update history. And on Windows 11, you would scroll down to the bottom of the page, click on uninstall updates, find the relevant update and uninstall the update, obviously to um, resolve any issues that it may have caused. And on Windows 10, the process is a little bit different. On your update history page, the link to uninstall updates will be here to the top left. So that's how you can uninstall an update if you have access to your operating system. Now, as you may well know, sometimes when an update causes issues, it can actually lock you out of your OS. So it could be in a boot loop or causes a blue screen of death and you can't actually get back into your operating system. So if you can't access Windows, and you want to uninstall an update, in case you're unaware, you can actually uninstall an update from the Windows RE, which is the Windows recovery environment. So just a quick video to show you how you can uninstall an update if you cannot get access back into your operating system. Now, the first step uh, you need to do is you need to access the Windows recovery environment. And to do this, I'm just gonna explain. If Windows fails to start multiple times, it will automatically enter Windows RE, the Windows recovery environment. And this can happen if there are issues with the boot process, as I mentioned, or if the system detects a problem that prevents Windows from starting. So that's how Windows will actually get you into the Windows recovery environment normally. But if you want to force Windows to enter automatic repair by interrupting the normal boot process, you can do this by interrupting the boot process two times. So this can be done by turning on the device and then holding down the power button to force a shutdown before Windows finishes loading. And after doing this two times, Windows should automatically boot into Windows RE on the third restart. So that's how you can access the Windows recovery environment. Now, once you are in the recovery environment, you will see a menu very similar to this. And the first thing you would do is you would click on troubleshoot then once you've clicked on troubleshoot, it'll take you to the next screen where you would click on advanced options. And then it'll take you to the third screen where you can see uninstall updates, remove recently installed quality or feature updates from Windows. And you would click on this and you would get access to your updates that you have recently installed. And you can find the relevant update, uninstall it. And then hopefully after that update has been uninstalled if it has been causing issues and you can't boot back into your windows os then once that update is uninstalled you should be able to then get back and restart and boot back into your os and then you can head back into your windows settings windows update and you can actually pause the update um, for an extended amount of time so you can extend that for a week two weeks three weeks and so on because if it's an automatic security update then what it'll do is it'll try to automatically reinstall itself so it's always um, important to note you need to pause the update because obviously it'll keep reinstalling and then you can pause it until at least the next update rolls out and hopefully that update would then resolve any issues pertaining to the previous update so that's basically how you can uninstall an update from the Windows recovery environment if you are unable to access your operating system if an update is causing issues. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.